everybody! Welcome to Wacky Wednesday with Mr. Sherwood. Um, I hope you guys all had a great Easter weekend. Um, today Lily and I thought it would be fun we dressed up like mermaids. And I was going to do a different craft today, but since we were dressed up like mermaids, we thought, well, let's do something mermaid themed for a craft this week. So what we did is we made these fun journals. And we're going to show you how you can make one of your own. Okay. All right. So to make our mermaid journals, I'm going to take a heavier piece of construction paper or cardstock or scrapbook paper and I'm gonna this is gonna be my cover and I'm gonna fold it in half sometimes you gotta I do this to make sure that it's even I'm just doing this if you're wanting to do the second voices it um, I'm Lillian you saw me in the first episode all right, so now we have our piece of paper folded in half. Now we're going to take our white paper. This is just recycled computer paper. You don't need too many sheets because if you have too many sheets, it'll be too thick. So I get about six or seven sheets or so. I'm going to take yours, Lillian, and we're going to fold them in half. You might need mom or dad to help you because it's kind of hard to fold a thick bunch. Yeah, especially since sometimes you get, gotta get in a shape before you actually fold it. All right. So once I have it folded half, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my fingernail to kind of increase my crease. Okay. Now, if I were to put this inside my booklet. My white paper is going to be too big. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to cut it down. So I'm going to take about a little more than an adult thumbnail. About an inch off. I'm just going to do this because I don't have this much. Alright, so my paper got a little wonky. Mine too. So I'm gonna go back in and cut it again. Mm -hmm. But don't do too much on if you're going to go in again. And try to make it as straight as possible. That's a bit straighter. I don't want to take it off too much All right. more. So then I'm gonna put it inside my booklet. Sometimes it's best to make it a bit smaller on each side. Like this. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my hole punch. And I'm going to, at my crease, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a hole on punch. one end. Mm -hmm. And then making sure I don't shift so that that hole stays together, I'm going to come to my other side. And I'm going to make a hole. I need a hole punch. So make sure it's kind of centered there, Lily Bean. I'm going to take these out again. I'm going to take my string. It's about three lengths of my booklet or so. And what I'm going to do is with it open, I'm going to put one end of my string through one hole. And I'm going to put the other end of my string through the other hole. Try and get them both the same length and then just pull them both together. Yeah, and then I'm going to want to try to make my strings, like Lillian says, about the same. It's okay if it's not perfectly the same. So I'm going to flip it upside down then and I'm going to tie it. You probably will need an adult to help you with this too. I'm going to tie it. I'm going to tie it. Well, I'm going to double knot it, I think. Yeah. Okay, you might need a friend. Lillian, can you put your finger there? Mm -hmm. 
Then just one finger, please. Thank you. Then I have to take your finger out. All right. Then I'm gonna tie it in a bow. All right, so now we've made our journal. I'm just going to tie the bow parts because it's really getting insecure. So now we're going to decorate it. I'm going to not use journal and when you're gluing them to your journal I want you to think about patterns so I'm gonna take whoops and I'm gonna glue one color up in the corner oops, I did it this way pencils on that side and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna glue them I'm gonna make them sort of overlap just a little. Mm -hmm. But then you get the real scale. I'm sort of overlapping. And I'm going to take them all the way to the edge. Pay attention to my pattern. So I did light blue. Now I'm gonna go dark blue. And I'm gonna do purple. Kind of off the one that I color very sticky. Alright, so that takes me all the way to my edge. Now I hear I don't want to start with my blue again. I'm going to take, because I only have one swirly majig here, I'm going to start with a swirly majig down here and it's going to offset my pattern. And that's what's going to look the best. So once again, I'm going to overlap a little. Mm -hmm. Very important. Not a little. Nope. What, okay. what comes after my swirl? Light blue. And after my... Now I have to start over. <laughs> and now they're done. Alright, so here we are. We got them all glued in and mm -hmm. we got ourselves a little book. Fun! Bye! Bye.